Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda we have Rise and Shine here today, which is a title I've been keeping my eyes on for a while now. And the developers, which is a super awesome Hyper Dimension Omega team, try saying that five times really fast. Um, we're kind enough to send me an early preview build of what the game is shaping up to be. This right here kind of has a little similarities to, let's say, Metal Slug. It's a side-scroller shooter, but where Metal Slug is more of a gunplay-heavy game, this kind of substitutes that with a lot of um, witty puzzles, in a sense. Game Earth has been invaded. A kid named Ryze has found himself in the middle of a war he cannot understand, but one that he might be able to end. Well, this is a bit of a cutscene here for us here. Let's see, we have Tomox. Rise, what what are you doing here? You have you have to get away from the city. Tomox, are you alright? What happened? Listen, Rise, just listen to me. You have to get away from here as fast as you can. Do you understand me? Yeah, I hear you, but you don't seem Just go, Rise. I'm already done for. I'll try to fly a little bit longer and distract that thing while you. And eh, too late for that. Not enough of a distraction here. What is he talking about, though? Oh, he's talking about this um, super mecha kaiju Godzilla thing that's going to pop out right now. Is that Flappy Bird over there? I know you. Again, keep your eyes open. I'm pretty sure you'll spot a lot of these things over here as we go along. Yep, yeah, seems like we're kind of outmatched here. <laughs> Level 999. Alrighty, he's charging up his lasers. Yeah, we're done for. However, one hour earlier. This is kind of where the game kind of takes place right here from the start. As you can see, we're just a regular kid hanging out in the mall over here, and uh-oh. I'm getting shot, I'm getting shot, let's hide. <laughs> Blam! Rawr. Don't even blink. Ugh, sure, just let, let me just... Apparently kill each other. Now, what I was going to say earlier, if you're familiar with the game um, Heart of Darkness, which is, I believe is a PS1 game, I will make a lot of um, comparisons to that right now. Legendary Warrior, gee, what does this elf guy look like? You alright, kid? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> glad to hear that. The bad guys got me pretty good this time, I'm afraid. No more response for me. <laughs> What's your name, man? I'm Rise. Rise, a fitting name for what lies ahead of you. That's exactly what we need to do. Rise against the space grunts and pray to the creators that our planet stays in one piece. But the space grunts from Nguyen Planet, New Gen Planet, have never done anything to us. Why are they destroying our city? I don't know. Nobody knows. But listen to me. You have to carry Shine now. Shine's the sacred gun that will save us all. You need to take it to our king. He'll know what to do. Just take it, Rise. Shine is yours now. Uh, I, I'm not, I, I can't. Look around, man. There's no one left alive. You just survived a direct attack by one of those bald mountains of muscle. You have to be brave for all of Game Earth now. Shine will give his carrier infinite respawns and more resistance than normal. He's in your hands now, man. You'll be... Alright. But, but, if you were Shine's carrier, why aren't you respawning now? Heh. <laughs> Cl clever kid. That's... That's because... Yeah, maybe we're not um, so safe after, uh huh? So the game's really self-aware. This game is really like, even though it looks kind of like the graphics are really cute, albeit beautiful, it kind of has this really like dark little surrounding to it, very much like Heart of Darkness for the PS1, where you're playing as a kid, and some of the death scenes in that game are really grotesque and really brutal, for uh, especially for playing as a kid. This is very similar to that as well. Ah hell, looks like you and I are neck deep in a bath of crap right now, kid. What? Yep, perfect. Just what I needed. A full-time babysitting gig. You're no legendary warrior, that much is crystal clear, but we'll make it work. All you have to do is get me to the king. I'll pipe up again if I see something you'd use to our advantage. Just try not to get yourself killed, alright? That ruined my afternoon. Alrighty. So right now we have to get on out of here. Blast this open, get some reload action. I'm always reloading when it comes to like, you know, games with like, you know, that have like gunplay in them. Always reloading. Alrighty, so these right here, not too good, but I will be um, purposely killing myself a few times to show you some of the death scenes that I was talking about over here. They're really gruesome, especially since you're playing as a kid over here, no less. Alrighty, that hurt me. Let's um, not jump over those here, huh, Falcon? There's a cover system. Again, more of the gameplay is involved around puzzles, but sometimes you will have to get involved with some actual combat over here. Gotta be a fan of random floating stuff in the middle of the street. 
By the way, let me introduce you my laser sight and torch accessory. It's far more useful than you. I don't mean to waste time tutoring, for example. <laughs> Well, I already know how it works out, so I will be showing you. That's going to be really important for our um, puzzles, by the way. And over here, we have a little bit of a duck system. But for now, what we're going to do is stay behind over here. Don't expect us to take a lot of sh shots over here. We will die if we just fight it out. And our cover will not last forever. It takes more shots. It's going to start diminishing over time, and then we'll be completely out in the open over here. All right, just hide over here. Got you. Reload. Now, this guy over here does not play around. If this guy hits you, you're basically toast. So, some enemies do have instant kill abilities. <laughs> oh! That missile would probably do that to me right there had I just not jumped over it. But as you can see, I'm a kid. I just got, like, literally dismembered by that flame over here. Oh, come on. I gotta do this again. That's fine. Let's just say that was, uh, Falcon trying to show you guys the uh, death animations over here. And not because I'm an idiot. Alright, let's get out of the coverage over here. Buddy? Hey, buddy. You need to, um, need to kind of die right now. Got you. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! You left a grenade on my feet! How dare you, you scumbag. Alrighty. Let's see, the aiming is probably... Uh, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if it's a game or it's me. My joystick isn't really too amazing on my gamepad at this point. So, you're going to see a lot of misses over here on my part, which is sometimes really crucial because some of the boss fights are going to have you being really, really, um... Pointing with your shots over here, as we will soon see. Well, well, you're not as useless as you look, kid. You found the RC bullet add-on. With this tiny thing, you can control the bullets after I shoot them. Within the said range, that is. Really? How? Alrighty. I know how to work that. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So, here's where the puzzle elements come into play. We need to swap this over into the RC mechanic, and we need to hit that blue icon over here, that blue button, whatever you want to go with here. So, once you have the homing stuff on, you will see these little, I guess, force fields that kind of guide your bullets. If you go outside of that range, your bullet will just, um, bloop, back down. So you definitely want to keep it within that range. And you want to avoid also, you know, smacking into things, obviously. So right here, we got that. What we wanted to do right there was turn off that, um, engine, otherwise we're going to fry it. Now we can just kind of go around over here, not a big deal. Let me go ahead and do my reloading. Excelente. All right. Now over here, what are we looking at here? Some more of these hazards. Don't blow me up. Don't, don't you dare. Don't do it. Oh, that human got dealt with. So you're probably thinking to shoot this guy, right? Well, let me show you what happens here. Got a little bit of a... Barrage on him, a little bit of a shield, right? So what we're looking at is that car is hovering right above, right? Hovering right above, I should say. Let's go ahead over here and... Mm, that's not the one we're looking for. Oh, okay, you scumbag. They will, by the way, shoot those, as you can see. But, <laughs> got him good. Gotta keep your eyes on the prize, my mechanical friend. We have a chest over here, too, with a bomb, missile. We're fine. We got one extra bullet over here. So now from 11, we go up to, no, from 10, we go up to 11. And you'll, you'll basically find more of those as you go along over here. How you doing, buddy? I gotta swap over to this. Pop your head out. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! You have no head? There's your eyeballs. Oh, he's flying away. Little angel bald dude. God damn. Crazy. Alrighty. Let's proceed over here. Might want to jump over those here. I don't think those are too crucial to our survival. How you doing there, buddy? Seems like you have a lot of protection, huh? Don't worry. I got you. I got a bullet with your name on it right here. Assuming you don't blow me up. You gotta hurry up, though, Falcon. Oh, I gotta miss it. Stop shooting the bombs. Yeah, got him. <laughs> Blow up your head, too. Oh, okay, we're fine. All right, so we see another chest over there. That's gonna be one extra bullet, if I'm correct, over here. Ooh, we have the old laser shot as well now. That's a whole box of electric bullets. Been a while since I fired one of those. Wow, how do I load them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to do that. Alrighty, so this will be more useful against mechanical enemies, which is going to be kind of like really, especially useful for our boss fight over here. Pop this open, we have one more extra bullet as well. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and mess around with our little laser shot, electrical bullet, I guess it's probably more ideal. Laser, electrical bullet, whatever. So right now, this right here, at least for me, it really reminds me a lot of Contra on the NES right here. There we go. 
So yeah, this really reminds me a lot of the um, Contra fight, the very first um, quote-unquote boss fight at the end of stage one over here. We're over here fighting like this giant fortress. You're supposed to basically shoot the sting open until you finally have access into the base right here. So yeah, expect a lot of little reps, especially if you keep your eyes out. And as soon as we get through this little part, keep your eyes on that body over in the right corner. I would be more poignant about it, but I'm over here just paying attention to... Oh, almost got killed there. Just dash right into that because I'm an idiot. Come on. One more shot. There we go. Got it. Damn, Sergeant, we ran out of missiles. How convenient. Thanks a lot. Didn't die. And I'm pretty sure that's Laharl from uh, this Gaia. This Gaia. This Gaia. Whatever, man. Let's see where this leads. Whoa. Rise, Mom. Rise, I thought I lost you. I'm fine, Mom. Thanks to Shine, I've made it here alive. Sup. And what about Dad? I haven't heard anything from him since the war started, but I'm sure he'll be alright. Dad is one of the best soldiers we have fighting out there. He'll come back. Rise, I'm glad you're out. Okay, kid. Where did you find Shine? The legendary warrior gave it to me before he died. The space grunts killed him. Oh, that's very bad news indeed. How on game earth did the space grunts manage to kill the legendary warrior? He was supposed to have the respawning power that Shine gives its carriers. If the legendary warrior is dead, that means Shine's carrier is you now, Rise. The moment you accepted the gun, a strong link with the guides was created. Now, the guides control all of your actions. Thanks to them, you might stand a chance against the grunts. But I'm afraid your union cannot be broken into the guide that controls you decides to do so. That's why you can't give Shine to another person for now. I'm sorry, son. But the legendary warrior told me to take Shine to the king. The king knows where our ultimate weapon rests. Shine is the key that activates it. It is said that this weapon can destroy any menace our planet faces. I think this is as good a time as any to give it to a whirl, give it a whirl, eh? The problem is that you have to actually survive the journey to the fabled king's palace. He'll then take you to the ultimate weapon and activate it. That way you'll save our planet and be free of Shine at the same time. BAM! You do realize I'm 10 years old, right? I barely know how to tie my shoes. Look, kid. I take Shine for you if I could, but I'm not a master wizard I used to be. I can't even go 20 minutes without practically peeing my pants. You'll be fine, Rise. The guides will keep you safe, I promise. It's dangerous to go alone. <laughs> Take the Omega Badass with you to the palace. He's already killed 300 space grunts on his way here. Right, soldier? Grr. Okay, that settles it. Good luck, Rise. The lives of millions depend on you now, kid. Alright, so we're gonna roll with this guy here for a minute, right? He's gonna be our badass defender. He's killed over 300 people. Pretty good in everything, right? So let's go ahead. Hey, you wanna speed it up here? Don't worry, kid. I'll get you to the palace safe and sound. Just stay here and don't move. I'll go ahead and wipe out all the enemies with my signature mega atomic laser attack with extra explosions on the side. I'll even let you try it later if you behave. Uh, okay. I'll just, um, wait here. Well, so much for our gallant escort. There goes our savior. I guess that landmine was too badass for the mega badass. You're gonna have to be extra careful now. Looks like the Space Grunts have found a way to kill my carriers for good. That's here right now, in case you need it spelled out. Alrighty. So, right now, we are gonna be introduced to one of the other puzzle elements of the game over here. Which is kind of similar to what we did before, but a bit more different. So we need our guiding missile over here. And bring this down. There you go. We have access now. Wanna come over here? Oh, okay, we have a scumbag over here just waiting to... Take shots of my shot over here, so we'll just go around. Oh, look at that. You can't shoot me anymore because I blocked your path. <laughs> Sucker. Now we'll come through here and bada bing. Should I have entrance to this area now? There you go. Get my reload on. Alright. Snash over here. <laughs> Is that head still chasing me? Get out of here, head. Alrighty. Oh, it should be noted that you can take care of the shots that these guys are shooting you. Oh, come on. No, we were done with them. It should be noted that you can take care of the shots they shoot you with if you shoot them as well. So that'll give you a little bit more extra time with the coverage, which is something I really should focus more on instead of just um, ducking and cover and just popping it when it's safe. So there you go. Get on out of there. Alrighty. Another. Uh oh, you need to go. No, don't get close to me, killer man. All right, we got you. We have another puzzle here. So let's get this out of the way first. Now this one's going to be a bit more tricky as you will see. So we want to come through here. That needs to get rid of first. As you can see all those other ones have little barriers around them so I can't really destroy them. Have to kind of avoid them and they will start shooting me now. Now over here is where we have to take a shot. There we got it. Oh my god that took me a few times. Um, 
when I was previewing this beforehand. So we got this one here. We're fine to go. So after you do your little um, RC shot, you can do like a, a shot afterwards if you want to kind of guide in a perfect little pad over here. So for this one, should be relatively easy. However, now we're locked in from this one, so let's go back to RC. Gotcha. Alrighty, let's see, what do we have? Elevator. So this one's going to pose a little bit of an interesting little scenario for me. <clears throat> I died <laughs> way too many times that I really want to admit, right here. Because I was being, I was basically being too clever for my own good. I was just kind of like, how do I do this? There's got to be a way to do this, right? Maybe if I RC the shot. This is what I mean right here. Obviously, where we're supposed to shoot it is pretty evident, right? Don't hang out on that little platform. Get away from me, grenades. Oh, I just, I just fell through. All right. Oh, well, that didn't play out too well. Let's go over to Electric Bulls on this area right now for this one. But you definitely want to get away from the platform because at some point that's going to completely blow up and you don't want to be there when that happens. Got it! They got it! Okay, we got it, we got it. That's simple, really, really simple. But if you start overthinking it, you basically start doubting yourself. I was basically hanging out here the entire time and just trying to RC shot through there and I was kind of like, what doesn't it work? God damn it, it's broken. But no, no. You just literally had to climb the uh, vehicle here. And you'd be fine. You know, a little bit of common sense on occasion does work out pretty well. I'm pretty sure this is going to be, yeah. And this is where the game initially started off at. So with this one, hey, you doing, Flappy Bird? Not sure if we're going to actually beat the entire thing. I'm going to give it a few shots over here. It takes a little bit of time to actually figure it out. And I'm not too really good at the guiding missile after you guide and you're supposed to shoot. All right, buddy. Get this out of the way here. Godzilla Brett. Gonna die. Got him. All right, come on, buddy. They go crazy on your face over here. That one's relatively easy to dodge. More importantly, you can't just shoot him, so it's definitely a lot easier. But you're supposed to reload afterwards. What are you doing? Oh, missiles? Missiles are fine. As long as they don't hit me. What are you doing now? Okay, Godzilla Brett. Gotcha. All right, dude. So right now we should... Oh, no. To say, right now we should be able to open up his weak point. Nope. Get away from your missiles. All right, so that's his weak point right there. So you're supposed to guide the shot over. Oh. Oh, I'm so terrible at this part. Everything else I could do just fine. It's... Oh, we got him once. Okay, good. But you're supposed to do that three times. That's the reason why I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do the entire fight here, because it's going to take a lot of a trial and error. And I'm really terrible with that goddamn shot here. I'm going to give it a try, though, but we'll see how we go. Get your reload on. Oh! Oof. No, 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 no. It's once it shines, jump. Okay. When it shines, you start jumping, Falcon. Okay, we got him done again. Come on, come on, Falcon, come on. No! Oh, we got him! All right. Hey, we might be able to beat him after all. We'll see. I've never gotten this far because the um, you know, I didn't really preview it for too long before I started recording. So I'm not sure if he's going to suddenly start swapping up his pattern here. Oh my god, that's a lot of... No! I'm so fucked! Oh, we barely got it in time! Oh, that's too many points now, dog. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely swapping up his pattern now. We're almost close to it. What are you doing? No! Just one more! Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This could be it. This could be it. No! No! I shot before! Yes! Oh, 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 that was so tense. Uh, I'm just really terrible at the um, the shot part after you've basically kind of like aimed it. That's the hard part for me. Psh, what a lazy dead animation. That whole trembling while exploding thing has been done to dead, literally and figuratively. I can't believe we just destroyed a huge killer robot. What kind of... We kind of rock, right? Meh. I've destroyed bigger and badder bosses with little more than sneeze. Come on, kid. We still have to reach the palace.
Alrighty. And that's about it for our little preview build over here. So let's, um, Rise and Shine, really, really fun game. I'm really excited for the end all product. I wish I had a date for you. There's still no set date, but it should be sometime in 2016. So when it does come out, I will definitely um, take another spin at that one. Maybe we'll do a series. We'll see. It's definitely a fun game. I really like the whole, um, the art style is really amazing for me anyway. And the whole self-awareness thing is pretty cool too. But if you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support us a lot. Descript or information about the game should be in the description below if you want to check it out and keeping your eye on it as well. I will catch you next time.